Welcome to Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, Guy, who lacks the patience to not bite into his halls or hard candies. Our top story tonight, after the tragic mass shooting in Oregon this week, human beacon of hope, Sheriff John Hanlon refused to name and credit the killer who desired fame. A noble move that only took CNN eight literal seconds to undermine. I will not name the shooter. I will not give him the credit he probably sought prior to this horrific and cowardly act. Yeah, and Michaela, here's what we can tell you about him. We do know his name, and uh, we are reporting it. He's 26 years old. His name is He listed himself as Lithium Love. And what a ratings boost it was for them. But why stop there, CNN? Why not implement scoreboards, huh? Or a little play-by-play analysis? Or you know what? Might as well just scrap the whole news part. Reality show, that's where it's at. Mass shooting survivor, huh? Oh, oh, what's that sound? Is that blood money filling up the bank accounts? Yeah, better put on a fan. Gonna get hard to sleep with all that noise. Bunch of hacks. <laughs> Moving on, author slash Wes Anderson of names Lemony Snicket decided to donate $1 million to Planned Parenthood on Wednesday after finding out they were also generally associated with a series of unfortunate events. <coughs> ah. Ah. Ugh, gross. In downright sensible news, Everest has been declared off limits to inexperienced climbers in a brilliant effort to get rid of stubborn people everywhere who will be like, what, you can't tell me what to do? I'll climb two Everest right after I double water my lawn and yell at a children's soccer match. Huge news from NASA on Monday after they announced they had discovered flowing water on Mars. Which, as we all know, means no space mosquitoes. Yeah, that's right. F*** you, you stagnant water breeding disease fairies. You can go f*** Oh, why would they put friend in the title? <laughs> Moving on, dinosaur soul reappropriator Shell decided it would be stopping its controversial Alaskan drilling for the foreseeable future. And thank God they did. Who knows what irreparable damage could have been done to Alaska's breathtaking wildlife and scenery. No, I said, I said breathtaking. Nope. Uh-uh. Really? By breathtaking, did they mean a throat clear? In Flemier news, my insides feel like a broken garburator. For more on that, we turn to Nicole, my roommate's girlfriend who's currently staying with us, rent-free. Nicole? Hey, great to be here. Great to have you here, rent-free. So how would you describe my cough this weekend? Oh, I guess kind of like a walrus climbing a chain-link fence. Okay. Thanks, Nicole. That will oh, be... Oh, no, up. wait. Like an old car running okay. over a soda can full of rocks. Uh-huh. Okay, that's actually... Do you get sleep at night? Because Andrew and I do not. Nicole, everybody. Actually, now that I think about it, it kind of sounded like a lawnmower throwing up into a well. This week in Germany, a woman presumed dead for 31 years emerged from hiding. In related news, Janet Jackson released a new album this week. This weekend, during a debate, potential wearer of another person's skin, Stephen Harper, declared marijuana was infinitely worse than cigarettes. But in the past, he's also said that other drugs are worse than weed, which would make them unscalable if weed was infinite bad. And I'm sure Stephen Harper is not the type of person to hyperbolize all willy-nilly. So mathematically speaking, cigarettes would have to be zero bad for that statement to make sense. Which of course means that Harper is pro-smoking. Oh, that was hurt <coughs> my cough. This week, Elon Musk announced his company's new electric SUV, the Tesla Model X. Uh, as I was saying, the Model X will, will come equipped with two rear Falcon doors that will make the Model X.
Oh, for Christ's sake, every time I say Moto X. We're done here? Such a stupid gag. This just in, even though I have more than 800 contacts in my phone, sometimes on a Friday night, I'll scroll through them and wonder, hey, do I really know any of these people? That's it for your apathetic weekend update. Please like, comment below, share, subscribe, so I can afford the much needed vitamin C to keep me from staying so sickly. I've been your host, guy who taps his leg in public to show he really enjoys the music he's listening to. Good night. Oh. Oh, God, I need some chase. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, so much better. Ugh.